Party time! <laughs> and we rally again, boys! Oh, this is great. This is so good. I love this game. What do you guys want to start with? What is the beginning deck we're going to build? Tarek Rally? Tarek? Why does everyone want Tarek? Who would Tarek play with anyway? So who is... I mean, if we're going to go for Rally, we know it's going to be triple... God dang it. I hate it when that happens. I don't know why it happens either. Why does it pop down here? Only, only, what? Okay. I typed Rally. Why when I click this... Oh, it's because it changes colors. That's why. Because the color changed automatically. Okay, got it. So, this is the deck so far. This is what we're looking at. This is the base. What is... The big question is, what is the second champion going to be? Now, Poppy does really good with Rally. But the problem is she shares um, Mana Cost with Tarek. That's not always ideal. Garen sucks, chat. Stop it. Um, Lux is a possibility. Lux is not bad. But do you really want to rally, rally with Lux? I'm not sure. I don't know. Zoe, I don't think Zoe is that great with that. Extra rally by getting Fist Spell. You could, but then you're not playing the double Demacia rallies, right? The reason they want me to play this deck, Kazuo, is because Demacia got a second rally that targets Taric, which means you can get double effect off of it. So they want to change this. Jarvan's a really good one. I agree with that. I feel like Jarvan might be the best one here. Go Quinn. Quinn is not a bad idea. Yo, I, I might even go for that. I like that idea. Quinn's actually not bad. Hmm. How do I want to build this? So, I want to build this with massive buffs. Overwhelm has to uh, has to be a thing. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to win. You, I think you need Zenith Blade. And Zenith Blade is really strong with um, Taric anyway. So, I think this is going to be a finisher. I just cut out the middleman and donate my blood straight to you. Sounds good. Sounds good. I like that idea. Field promotion. I don't like field promotion honestly. I mean, I guess you can do Tarek onto Quinn. Nah, it's it's too it's too weak of a card on its own. I think we can't play it. Rally? We already have Rally chat. So, this is how I'm seeing this happening. You would do, um... Uh, you would do Tarek attacks with Quinn. I'm sorry, um... So, Tarek and Quinn attack together, right? Boom. You do whatever buff you want. And then, you rally, pop it on Tarek, you attack with Quinn, she gets her scud effect off, then you Tarek attack with Quinn, and you rally again Tarek attack with Quinn. Like, it's a really strong combo if you can get it. But, in order for this to work, you need a ton of ways to keep these units alive. You need so many ways to keep them alive. So, um, we're going to need a lot of these cards. We're going to need the... Ranger's Resolve, I think, times two at the very least. Pale Cascade is pretty good. Sharp Sight is really good. I might even run Prismatic Barrier, crazy as it sounds. I might run Prismatic and Repost. Now, that, that looks a little bit overkill, honestly, but I think we need that many defensive cards or we're just going to lose. Wow. I, I mean, Astral Protection looks bad, but Bastion is really amazing. Now, how many units do we have? We have six units, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna work. We don't have units. Oh no. Okay, listen. We'll, we'll make it work somehow. We we can. <laughs> one, two, three. Um, who else is good here? One, two, three. Unitless deck. Yeah. Laurent is pretty good as dude. I'm 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 actually throwing here. This this looks so bad. I already have fifty cards. How am I gonna cut it down? I I. Oh my god. How am I gonna? I want to put everything. How am I supposed to cut this down? And I want to put like star shaping as well for healing. And then I want to put like, I want to put the two cost card for healing as well. Chad, I got 57 cards. What the hell? Oh, okay. Let, let's, let's template. This is the template. This is what we're going to start with. Let's see how it feels. How many units? I don't even care how many units. Tarek skin. I forgot the skin chat. I should have played blonde Tarek. It's fine, we're playing against the meme deck as well, so it's, it's all good. He's playing um, the 10-cost card. He's going to be a super slow deck. I think you try to keep all your units alive. That's the, that's the plan. Yep, that's the plan. I mean, I have more units now. It's not as bad as it was. I don't think... 
I don't think you need overwhelm when you rally twice. You do. Because um, then you overwhelm twice. It's amazing to overwhelm twice. Double overwhelm is actually insane. Will I play Zenith Blade on the, on the Fleet Feather here? I don't know. I don't think I will. I'm going to play probably Guiding Touch to Face. I'll, I'll pass first because he's burning mana just like I am. Fantastic. Okay. I bring clarity. It wasn't you know it, I the wrong um, I think I pass here. I don't think I need to attack here. I don't really have any good targets to attack with. Like, next turn I can do repose onto this, but... He burnt his little... Oh, that's really good! Wow, he burnt his card. What? Why? Wait, why'd he burn the card? Fade and be gone. I can't afford to lose Tarek. I can lose anyone else I want. Now, this guy has to have a ton of... He has poison darts. Rally? I can't rally because I'm not getting value for the rally. I need better units to rally with as well. I need to find um, what's her face. You guys, you guys, he has he's PNZ. Do you realize how much removal he has? I don't think you guys realize just how much removal this dude has. I might even get thermode here. Okay, I'm not getting thermode, thankfully. It's fine. So we're going to open with Zenith Blade. This will draw me a second Zenith. Then we'll develop Sun, um, Sol Solari Sun Forger. We still have this to keep him alive. Hmm. I'm, I'm worried about Thermo Beam. So Thermo doesn't kill me anymore. Now it's only Minimorph that really messes me up. A good scene on this one. Now I get a little messed up by uh, Minimorph, but that's about it. Even if he Minimorphs, it is, it's not the end of the world. Thermo Beam? Maybe. Double Mystic would be nice for me. Because I do have Pale Cascada. Okay, that's exactly four damage, right? Three, four. So let's do this. I think we got him here, boys. I think we're good because he's getting—he's getting a massive amount of HP off of this as well. He's going to be at three, so he doesn't die. That unyielding. unyielding. That's not what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. And these are permanent gains of damage. Permanente. And now next turn we have lethal. We have lethal next turn, boys. With Relentless Pursuit. Um, yep. We do. So we're gonna... Ooh, that's a nice card as well. We have this plus this. That's all we really need. And we're good to go. We have double rally here. He's gonna go for... He doesn't, he's not gonna go for Mystic Shot? What? I'm surprised. Submit. Boom! And rally again, boys. Easy! And Yo, what's up, my man? Red X Filter Arn. Thank you for the 11 months of support, buddy. 11 months supporting this stream, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. No Kerbal later, then? I'll check back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Wait. Let's kill that as well. I don't like Heimerdinger's giving you free blockers. Nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. Right. And we had one more attack to go, so it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Alright, that was a good start. We didn't get Quinn though, unfortunately. So we got no Quinn here. Let's uh let's continue. But first things first, you guys reminded me I will not forget. Let's put a new board as well. We're going to put them... I mean, Tarek's in his in his bathing suit. We're going to put him in the lagoon. We'll, we'll have some parties. That combo is way too consistent now. It's way more consistent, for sure. 
Too many rallies? No such thing. No such thing as too many rallies when you have Quinn as your main card. Hush. We have one um, Moonlight, which is a better Hush in my opinion in the current meta. Because right now the biggest problem is when they have Nami and something on board. Then you can delete the Nami and the something. Laurent Prodigy is just so good. I know. I know. I know. I just don't know what to cut for it. It's a really good card. I need three drops. I do. I need something to buff with Taric, right? Uh, I don't think I keep this. I think I want to look deeply for my two champions. Okay, we found one. That's good. Is Nami still being played? I don't know. I haven't seen her after the nerf. But if she does get played, I need to be able to beat her. The rallies are needed in this deck. They are. That's the entire point of the deck. It wins with Rally and Zenith Blades and Taric. So he doesn't run anything can really kill Taric easily. So as long as we keep Taric alive and we get some barrier cards, we should be very fine. And by barrier I need, I need that's why I need repost. That's why I, one of the first cards I put in was the big barrier card. Will I block this? I have no units to buff. If I if I find nothing on three, I need to have this alive. Oh, that's a really good... No, I was... Uh, dude, imagine top decking this card after blocking with the Flea Feather. For one second, imagine my level of sadness. Holy crap, I would have been sad. I would have been so sad. Imagine if he's single combats here. That would be nice. Thanks for the advice a few weeks ago. I have finished TF. Any ideas for my next champ to master in Lee? I have no idea. Um, but congratulations. I'm happy for you. It's fine. I'll, I'll pull it in with this next turn. And we have Taric, which is kind of nice. As long as I get some kind of buff with Taric, right? Taric is safe. Huh. What if he plays Waking Sands into con Concerted Strike? That kills me. Not even that. No. Waking Sands into Single Combat. Then I can Single Combat with the 2-1. But then he can... If he, he needs, like, Waking Sands into Double Single Combat. It's kind of insane. I'm going to pass here. There's no reason to attack. There's no reason to commit an attack here. I'm, I like burning that off, and I like um, burning his mana. He might pass back thinking he's protecting Akshan, which is kind of nice. I do have rallies. I do have Solaris coming down to heal me after this. He's Freljord. Oh! He's Freljord! What? Can't believe it. It's beautiful. That's... The deny, dude. The best deny of all time. I'm so happy with this. Out of my face! Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. That's how what I like to see, brother. Ah, what a good turn. What a good turn. What a fantastic... Give me Quinn! No Quinn? Boo. No fun, dude. Absolutely no fun. Let me buff some stuff up. I'll get more. I have two more of these. So it's like, I'm just drawing another one. I want to play this next turn for the life. I think I do block that every time with my dude. Because, uh, yeah, this guy's doing nothing at the moment. If he wants to buff him, I guess that's good for him. But whatever. It's fine. I'm not quite mad at that. I don't care. All right, we're good to go. Next turn, we're looking at uh, Sunforge. Well, we're looking at Zenith Blade into Sunforge, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't care about the lifesteal as much as I care about... Uh, Getting my third Zenith, my thing. I already have 16 HP, I should be fine. This is a turn he wants to play as Landmark anyway. He's playing Aram, I'm aware of that, chat. I'm very well aware. And now we can get another one in hand. Fantastic. Fantastico, and then we can get it on this guy as well. Right. Time to party, boys! Time to party, 4 to 7. Getting close to leveling as well. Oh, come on, come on! No, no, not not more of these. I hate that card. Doesn't matter, we, I have to attack. I lose too much value if I don't attack. It's too strong. We still have single combate for this. If he, uh, if he plays it here and buffs it, we have single combates all over the place. I could. I could do that. But that's a big risk. That's a big risk. Alright, Tarek is about to level. Tarek is leveling super soon. 
Not worth it? I know it's not. Let next turn, I get a lot of lifesteal. Plus, we delayed his, uh, what do you call it? Next turn, we have how much? 7 plus 2, 9. We have exactly one mana over. So we can't play single combat this turn. Our next turn is looking amazing. Like, we have Solari into um, Golden Ages. Oh, and we have one more mana for... Oh, beautiful. He's going to play the landmark now. Wait, does he have a way to kill him? I don't think he has a way to kill him, does he? Oh, okay, okay. Beautiful. We get to play the barrier now for all of the value. I love to see it. I love to give this barrier right now. It's so good. It's so beautiful. Now what, brother? What are you going to do now? What now? He's going to break the barrier, I guess. I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that. What? I'll take the hit. I'll take the whole hit. I'm leveling Tarek here. I have no reason to block. Steady now. I've got no reason to block. Do I have any reason to block here? No. Blocking is for suckers. He can just buff that for free. Nope. No, no blocks. It's a trap. To protect all. Party time! <laughs> and we rally again, boys. Oh, this is great. This is so good. I love this game. And he's not dying. Oh, Lord. It's unethical. Yeah, no, no. You got to block this guy. This guy has over one. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got to block him. You have to block this guy. No. No. You gotta block this guy? What are you doing? Cut down. <laughs> you gotta love it. Unyielding. That's right. That's right, boys. Do we have more rallies? I don't know if we have more rallies or not. <laughs> Unyielding. That's all what I'm talking about. <laughs> Later. Nothing personal. Nothing personal, brother. It just is what it is. Here comes the freeze. Wait, what? Where's the? Where's the? Boo! No, you don't. He actually wanted to kill him for no reason. He wanted to be a mean person and kill my kill my beautiful Solari Sunforger. No, you don't. You don't get the value. I get the value. Out of here. Get out of here. My, my, my man will... Oh, he's... Yep. Okay, you're right. He was just trying to protect his severe. You're right. He, he did have unyielding. You're, you're absolutely correct. Wait. He still dies. No, we're good. We're good. He still dies. All right. We're absolutely fine. Victory is a thing of beauty. Invulnerable is great, dude. This is great. It wasn't a BM. I just thought for a second she wasn't dying, but she was. Nice BM. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been practicing, if you can't tell. I could save Black Spear for something. The moose is loose. Yes, it is. I missed allegiance as well. All right, dude, I'm out of here. I mean, there is no, there is no question. There is no question. This is this is this is definitely my deck. This is definitely the deck I should have started with. I love it. How did I ever doubt myself? How did I ever doubt? Got him. Thank you. Well, that was a fun deck. I enjoyed it. But um, I missed allegiance in two games in, in a row. I think you picked that deck just to make me cry. For you know, it is my one and only weakness. Missed rates go hard. You know when I see this, and I see mist wraiths,